Okay, so this is going to be a super quick run through as to how to edit SharePoint pages and news posts and when to create one or the other. So as the example here, we've got the Biomedical Science course community and this is the page I'm going to edit first. This is a news post for the student voice. The reason I've done this as a news post is every time it's updated, mm -hmm. I want that to be reflected in any news hubs. Okay, so we're going to jump in here. You can either go to a page via any kind of portal that links it or you can jump up to settings, site contents, if you have access to the site contents, if you're an owner or if you've given members that kind of permission, go to site pages and site pages will be any page that you've created. And we've got the student voice page here and these are news posts. So I can jump to it from there, opens it as a new tab and this is the student voice page. Now what I want to do is edit this to add something to it. Now what we can do here because it's a news post, if I go up here to edit, I can edit anything on here and when I republish it, it will update the news. That means that this picture and anything generic at the top will reflect in a news post. The other way to go is if you have uh, an, a particular story you want to do, such as the National Student Survey. Okay, That's to do with student voice. I want it to surface on the student voice page. I don't necessarily want it to take up space on that page. Okay, So what I would do here is new news post and that news post then gives me a series of options you choose through those create a post you type the contents you publish it that news post will then not only appear in this news hub here but it will also appear on the news one there it will repost there the other thing to do is to have a page and here on the main page the home page you have a lot more options. You can do a news post off the main one, and that will again sit as simply a file in the site contents, just as, as if it was a file, which it is effectively. It's a document, it just happens to surface as kind of a website looking page. Or you can make a page page. So what I'm gonna do here is jump to new and news post. And again, I get the same choices there. Once you're in, once you've got a news post, you can edit it the exact same way as a page. The only difference is if you publish a page, it just updates the contents. If you post or update a news, it updates everywhere that that news item is surfacing, okay? So here we're gonna to go to edit. And really, the key thing with editing pages is that you have sections which are horizontal, like these. So this is a section, this is a section. And with any section, you have the ability to further subsection it. You can choose two, three columns where the balance is. So this is a two column section. This is a one column section. The things on them are items. So everywhere this dark box is appearing, that is an item. Change things ever so slightly. Give it a slightly different visual depending on your theme and you can make that go away. You can delete it, you can move it, you can add a new section and choose what it's going to be. But all I want to do here is I can edit some of the text here. And when you hover around things above and below them, you can add things. So when a plus arrives, we're adding something and you choose anything you want. Now, if you're doing a news post, you can do a text box because a text box is going to create the columns you want. If you want to make a page, you might add a, a button, which is what this is. This is a button that links to a Microsoft form. You may embed a video. You may embed a YouTube. If you're doing a news article, it's a good idea to, and that just creates a text box and you can paste in any pictures you want. If you're doing an article, it's a good idea to do two columns and do multiple text box for each section you want. And then when you're done, update the news or publish the news or post the news and it will appear wherever it is. You can do this really for anything. You can add as many items as you like and it will just, if we add a news bulletin there, and that again pulls in all the same news as here. It's just slightly different visual. You can edit the web part and the web part gives you different options for how you might show people the news. You can do it from this site specifically. You can have it be personal to the user if it's for a personal feed. You can select sites that you are a member of and, and pull in news items from there. And you can filter based on things. So my advice there is, for example, if it's the student voice page and you only want news showing that's to do with the student voice. Every news post you create include the voice in the title and then simply do the voice in the filter so that it only pulls in news posts from everywhere in this site 
that have that in the title. So it won't pull in any accidental things on. Uh, so if we do voice there, and you'll see that's now reduced because I've changed the words. If I do placement, it's now only pulling in placement. So you can see it adapt to the filters that you do. If you've made a mistake, not a problem at all. Delete that and away you go. And that is it. That's the way you edit a page. So if you want to make a, uh, a theme bucket, make a page and then post new stories from it. If you want to just do news posts, you might want to do that from a personal site. But my advice is to make a page for a section and then post news items related to that section as news posts. Hope you find that useful. See you again soon.